If you've been wondering about the new company called Timo, then you've definitely come to the right place because I have an affordable, high-end Christmas DIY using Timu items that you're not going to want to miss. I would also like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, let's jump into today's DIYs. Okay, friends, we're going to start off with a little unboxing, but first I figured I would show you the items that I personally chose and just how affordable they are. Y'all, a pack of beads, $3, that greenery, $2, the little trees were super affordable as well, and all of the items, super nice quality at an affordable price. If you guys have never heard of Timu, Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories like fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies, and many, many more. They also offer top quality products at an ultra affordable price so that everybody can enjoy the conveniences and comforts of life. If you guys want to learn more, you can always visit timu.com or download the Timu app as well. The app is very, very easy to use. I definitely suggest you download the app. You guys, you can also get free shipping. There are so many benefits to shopping with Timu and not not only that, I get a lot of questions about shipping. Y'all, this only took about a week and a half to two weeks to get to me, and it really was not long wait times at all. So like I said, I'm just going to do a quick little unboxing because this is already going to be a long video with the DIYs, but I just wanted to show you how nicely it comes packaged. The items, like I said, are top quality, and I just cannot get over the prices. A lot of you guys were asking me, is Timu legit? Let me know about Timu. Yes, Timu is 100% legit, y'all, and I promise you I will be turning to them before I ever shop on Amazon or any place else from now on. I'm also super excited too because Timu is launching a special Christmas promotion to kick off the holidays for my people. During this special event, you guys can shop items for Christmas as low as 99 cents for, for things like wreaths, stockings, ornaments, and you guys know I love DIY, so always check out the Christmas DIY decor stuff as well. Did y'all see that gorgeous little wooden house? I cannot wait to show you guys the DIY that I came up with. So for this DIY, I just had a scrap piece of wood that my husband actually saved for me. This is a piece of salt treat. I believe this is decking board. I will definitely um, check and ask him, but I'm almost positive. This is a piece of deck board and it is salt treat, but for this project, salt treat is not necessary. You can just get regular wood. Now, my husband has a lot of scraps. He's a handyman, and he had this left over from a job. But if you go to your local hardware store, they should cut a piece down for you if you need it. So I just sanded down the edges smooth because this was a cut board. And then I covered both the front and the back plus the sides with some white Waverly chalk paint, leaving a little bit of that wood show through so that it looks like it's distressed. 
then I do distress it with my chip brush that is always linked in my Amazon shop. And I dist uh, distress all of the edges and then I also distress the middle of the board as well with some dry brushing. And I do use my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain to do that. To create a few little knots, all I did was take my chip brush and a little bit of the Dixie Belle Voodoo stain and just kind of go in a circular motion and dab in the middle of those little knots. So I set that aside to dry and now I'm going to work on my first little DIY for this project. So I ordered this gorgeous little globe with the flower and originally I was going to use it with the flower but because we are doing Christmas DIYs I wanted to make a cute little Christmas globe. So I take this fencing that I got that I also got off Timu and I measure how much I need to go on the inside of the globe. I then use my wire cutters to cut that and then I glue it together with some hot glue. Once it was glued together, then I fed the lights through the middle of my fence and glued that down. Now, y'all know hindsight is 2020, so I probably should have, you know, opened it up with the lights in the middle and then glued it down but it doesn't matter uh it was all good so once i had my fence glued down then i stained it with my dixie bell stain again i was like girl what are you doing y'all this was like two in the morning so don't mind me i'm a busy mama i just had a baby two months ago so i'm still working out the kinks and you know figuring out my schedule um so i just do the best i can and i just encourage y'all to do the same thing Thing. So once I had stained the bottom and I dried it, then I took this gorgeous greenery. Y'all, I'm definitely, after this, I'm going to order some more of these because they're absolutely gorgeous picks and I could not believe how much or how affordable they were, I should say. So anyway, I just cut them down to size and then I wanted to make this look like a tree. So I stacked them not going the same way. I like glued one going one way and then I kind of like took the leaves and adjusted it so that it looked like one trunk, if you will, in the middle and then hot glued that together. I also put it down into the bottom so I could kind of gauge um, what this would look like once the glass was over top of it. And I felt that it needed to be a little bit more full. So I did just cut some greenery off the excess that I cut off originally and then glued that down at the bottom. If that made absolutely no, no sense, y'all can see what I just did. And then I just took the lights and wrapped it around my faux tree. After I put my fake tree down inside of the fencing, I then took these berries off of the pick and then just glued them randomly around my tree. As I always tell y'all, if you personally do not like this look, you can totally customize this and change it up to suit your decor or to make your eyes happy. It's totally up to you. Once I was done hot gluing the berries down, then I took this faux snow that I had in my stash. I put a little at the bottom and then I also took some glue now I don't I recommend not using wood glue <laughs> but I was in my kitchen it was like two three in the morning y'all and I just used what I had right there and it worked in the end so no harm no foul but I do recommend something like more like Mod Podge and then I just put some faux snow over that glue dot over those glue dots put the glass on and look how absolutely stunning this turned out let me know down in the comments what y'all think for the next DIY, I take this embroidery hoop out of the plastic and I stain it with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Once I had that dried, I did hit it with my blow dryer because y'all know I am so impatient. But once that was completely dry, because the problem is if you try to glue something down, the stain is wet and it's not going to adhere to your project. So you always want to make sure whatever you're doing is dry 
dry before you try to glue anything down. Next, I took both the types of greenery that I bought and I just pick or cut off some of the branches off of each pick and then I alternated between the greenery so I did the fluffier one and then the next one and so on and so forth I don't know the technical terms for this greenery I'm sure y'all will let me know down in the comments but like I said I just alternated all the way around this embroidery hoop I absolutely love the way that this looks and once I got to the end then I took some um, white Waverly chalk paint and I just painted that over the branches to look like bow snow and look cohesive with the rest of the pieces. Once I had the snow done and it was completely dry, then once again I added a few berries with some hot glue all the way around the wreath. Lastly, I made a little bow with this red ribbon and if you guys want to know how to make several different bows I know a lot of people struggle with making bows I will leave my bow tutorial in the right hand corner for y'all My personal favorite is my bow trick using my fingers And if you need to slow this particular bow down all you have to do is click the three dots in the right hand corner and then you guys can slow or speed up this video or any video that you would like once i had the red ribbon glued down to the top then i just made a simple jute ribbon and glued that to the middle of the red ribbon as well moving on i take a jumbo popsicle stick from walmart and i cut that down to size to fit on the back of my wreath I then give it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint and I transfer on this wording right into the middle of this little mini sign with my black chalk paste. Once I peel back my transfer, I reveal that gorgeous image that never gets old peeling back the transfer, but I let that dry and then I also transferred on the little design with my gold chalk paste as well. When you're using chalk paste, if you guys want to layer, you totally can. Always make sure that the bottom layer is dry before you move on to the next. And you also want to always make sure to immediately wash your transfers. That way they can last you a really long time. So once I had my image transferred on, then I flip my wreath over and glue that to the back with the wording facing the front. And that was it. Look how gorgeous this turned out, y'all. And the best part, it was super affordable to make. I can't wait to hear what y'all think down in the comments below. For the next DIY, I'm going to take these wooden beads that I got off Timu and I start by taking the large wooden beads out and dividing them up and all together I had 40 and I needed three different colors so the natural wood red and green so I put 13 in each bag and then I had 14 unfinished wood beads left over now I'm about to blow y'all's mind and show you the easiest way to paint beads I get this question a lot so I figured I would show y'all all you have to do is put your beads in a sandwich bag put a drop of paint in your bag seal it up and then you're just going to use the bag kind of as your paintbrush and make sure that all of the beads are coated and then you're just going to dump them out on a paper plate to dry i repeat that for the green beads as well Next, I put a piece of tape on some jute twine and I just alternate between the colors starting with the natural wood. Then I go green, red, and repeat that process until I'm out of beads. 
once I had my beads strung on my jute, then I make a simple tassel with three different color jute. I had tan, red, and green. I started with the tan and wrapped it around my hand 20 times. I kept it on my hand and then I wrapped the red around 20 and the green around 20 as well. And then I took that off of my hand I took another piece of jute and tied that to the top of my loop and then I cut them apart at the bottom. Once I had that finished, then I took another piece of jute and at the top you want to go down about a half an inch and then tie another piece so that you have a loop at the top but the strands are open at the bottom. If that literally made no sense because y'all I feel like I don't explain stuff right but I just do the best I can in everything that I do and it always turns out fine so that's why I always encourage you guys because I am way more like you guys than you think I overthink things everything takes me forever I make mistakes I'm literally just like y'all. I just choose to record it and put it up for my people. So anyway, if that made no sense, I'm going to let this play so y'all could see exactly what I did. Next, I give it a little haircut. You know, y'all give that thing a little haircut at the bottom <laughs> so that all the little pieces are straight. So I give it a little haircut at the bottom and then I tie that to one of the ends of my beaded garland. If y'all want to follow my journey and my story, I get crazy and personal and I'm literally on my Instagram stories all day long. I literally live my life out on my Instagram stories. So if y'all want to follow that, head over to Instagram at all things crafty too. I would love to have y'all as followers. Um, I'm very much out of my shell and in my comfort zone over there. So um, I would love for y'all to hang with me. But anyway, once I was done with the tassel, then on the other end, I ordered the these unfinished wood ornaments from Timu um, but I wasn't too sure which pattern that I wanted to use I literally loved all of them and wish that I could put them all I actually tried to put two on the on this end but it just didn't look right so I ultimately decided on the star with the little design and I cut the hanger off and then tied that to the other end and that was it for this beaded garland let me know down in the comments what you guys think Okay friends, now we're gonna put this all together. So I got this absolutely stunning little Christmas village house off Timu and I put batteries at the bottom so that it lit up and I glued my wreath to the front. I love this little house. I would love it as is without all the rest that I'm gonna show you, but y'all know I'm extra. So I had to take this way, way, way farther. <laughs> Next, I take my little fairy lights that I got from Timu as well. I make sure that they I make sure they work first. And then I wrap them around three trees that once again I got from Timu. So I just wanted to show you guys how exactly I did this. And when shopping Timu, you always want to pay attention to the sizing because like for instance these trees were all in the same link but you had to choose which size that you particularly want so i just wanted to make y'all aware of that um but i also wanted to let you guys know that it is much easier to use the app so i would highly encourage y'all to use the app you guys can check that out with the link in the description and when you guys check out please use the code key 399 because that is how i get credit that is how they know that i sent you so once i had the lights on my trees then i went ahead and just kind of arranged everything how i liked i glued some greenery down to the front and then i also made a few more trees the same way that i did the tree in the globe and I glued those down and put some white Waverly chalk paint on the edges so that it looked like snow as well.
Next, I made a simple ribbon and glued that down to the middle after I painted the greenery once again with my white Waverly chalk paint. Now, I didn't film it, but I did take some more lights that I had in my stash and wrap that around the little trees on the left hand side as well. Next, I took those same berries that I used earlier and I randomly glued those down to that front greenery. I then had these little paper houses in my stash. Now, you guys, these are super cheap. I don't even know where I got these from, but I definitely recommend to look for something on Timu that's a little bit better because I personally just didn't really like them very much. Um, but I know y'all let me know what you think. Um, so I just glued one of those down in the right hand corner. And then I also went ahead and glued all my trees down as well. I like to just set everything out before I start gluing. That way, if I don't like the way something looks, then I can always change it around. And I did not glue down the globe or my house because I do have to pick those up to turn them on and off. So once my actual little forest, village, whatever you like to call it, was finished, y'all know I had to take it a little step further. So I take my square dowels and a sign, and I just kind of gauge how tall I need this, and you'll see why in a minute. And I cut those down with my miter shears and paint them with my white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I use my weld bond and some hot glue to glue my uh, square dowels to the back of the sign, and I repeated that for the next side. I then took the weld bond once again. I put a little dab at the bottom and a little dab of hot glue, and then I glued that to the back of my piece of wood. Then I take these super cheap but extremely high quality little lights from Timu and I start by untangling them. They were nicely knotted up that way they didn't get all tangled in transit and then of course I put batteries in the battery pack and look how gorgeous they are all lit up. Now originally my idea was to string these lights from one dowel rod to the next underneath this sign. However, once I was done, I really did not like the way that it looked. It was okay, but the lights were uneven and my OCD was not happy. <laughs> Y'all should have seen me. This was like 4.30 in the morning and I would not rest until I had this thing absolutely perfect. So I figured that I would shut the lights off so that I could kind of see what I was working with with the lights. So I shut the lights off and then just turned all the lights on and I quickly realized that I absolutely hated the lights hanging. So I just cut down the dowels and I glued the sign down a little bit further and then I just arranged the lights on that front greenery and you guys, OMG. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I love all of my Timu items. I want you guys to go shop because you guys are gonna go absolutely nuts. I want you to buy yourself something we often forget about ourselves, but on Timu, you can buy other people's stuff and, your some, and yourself something as well. So I would encourage you guys to check it out. Check the link down in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And when you guys check out, please, please, please use the code KEY399 for 30% off 
as well as that really helps my channel and lets Timu know that I sent you. So with that being said, I want you guys to know that I love you with all my heart and soul. None of this is possible without you. I want to also encourage you guys to step outside of your comfort zone, do things that make you a little nervous because in the end, you'd be surprised at how well it turns out. If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning, you're worthy, you're gorgeous, and you can literally do anything you set your mind to. I want to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, don't forget to download the app, go shopping, get yourself something. Check the link in the description box. Type in the code KEY399 once again. And if you guys want any chalk or ketone info, or if you guys want to get alerts and be a part of the text crew, text my number on the screen. Until next time, I love y'all so much. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload, or join the DIY fam here to your right.